Hey, this is Shiraz. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I cleared for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. Yes, hi, Shiraz. Hello. And yeah, we'll get uh, to the point. What I'm really struggling with is I feel rejected all the time. I feel like, I don't know, It's you might say it's not true on one level, but I all, always, you know, uh, any interaction with anyone, I feel they are rejecting me. So whether I talk to a client, a family member, anyone, the moment they say, uh, you know, something, I, I straight away back off and feel like I'm being rejected. And I don't know just how to overcome that. So the moment they say what you feel you... I mean, rejected. they could say a simple thing or they could ha just have a general conversation. And, and for some reason, I feel that they're rejecting me. Okay. So is everyone rejecting you? It's mostly, most people, most people I feel that way. Like I'm all the time fearful, oh, they're going to reject me. Oh, they're going to say something and, uh, and you know, I'll be. Okay. So do you want them to reject you? Uh, say that once again, please. Do you want them to reject you? You know, on a conscious level, no, I don't. Okay, but that's not coming up true. So. If they didn't reject you, if they embraced you, what would happen? How would the relationships change? I will start feeling very uncomfortable. Why? Because maybe I, yeah, it's, it's, it's making me think that I'm not worth being accepted or not worthy of being accepted or not, just not good enough for, I don't know. I, I feel scared. Okay. So if you feel you're not good enough and you're worried about being with people and not feeling good enough all the time, then rejection is a great solution. I understand. So who taught you you're not good enough? If I go back, maybe it could be my parents. Okay. I start thinking down the road. Okay. So are you willing to step out of their story that you're not good enough? Yes. Are you trying to make sure people don't discover you're not good enough? I think that rings true for me. It okay. feels true. So are you willing to step out of the story that you need people to reject you so that they don't find out you're not good enough? I'm willing to step out of that story. <laughs> <laughs> And this is something a lot of people do when you really look at this. Rejection is basically making you feel like you're good, not good enough. But it's a lighter form 
of feeling you're not good enough than them really embracing you and then going, oh, oh, you're not good enough. That would hurt a lot more. So you're still creating the exact same thing, just in smaller, smaller chunks. But when you realize you are good enough, then other people are going to recognize that in you as well. You're creating the rejections. Okay. What's the cost of being good enough? The cost of being good enough. Yeah. If everyone thinks you're good enough, how would your life look? And if you knew you were good enough? It would make certain people or some people not like me. Why wouldn't they like you if you're good enough? Because it would show that they are not good enough or not as good enough as me. Okay. So you have to make sure you're not good enough so they feel good about themselves. I, I can see that. Yeah, okay. I'm doing that. Yeah. And yet if they... If they want to improve, oftentimes they need an example of someone that is better so that they can improve. And because you're not allowing yourself to be good enough, they're not going to get that example. So they're stuck, you're stuck, no one's happy. When you start living in a world where you're good enough, some people will, will say, oh, look how great Kurjeet is. I don't feel good. And they'll just, they won't want to change. They'll just feel bad. But others are going to say, oh, look what she's doing. I want to be like that. And then they'll change and come along with you. You are denying all those people that are want to come along with you a chance to do so by playing small, by being not good enough. So are you willing to step out of the story that you have to stay not good enough so everyone else feels comfortable? Yes, I'm willing to step out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, how's that feel? It feels much lighter, but as we talk, I still, I had a huge, like a knot in my solar plexus mm -hmm. that has lightened up quite a bit, but it's still like holding on to something. Okay. Is there anyone you're not allowed to be better than? All my life, I always thought it was my older brother because he was like, nobody could even match up to him. Okay. And I could never be good as good enough. Never. Okay. Like, so no if, matter how hard I tried or whatever I did. Okay. So what if you could be? Yeah, I, I think that I would, I would accept that and feel good. Okay. And what if you could be better? That would be even better. And how would he feel and how would your parents feel if you were better? Uh, I don't think they would mind or they they might be happy that, oh, wow, you know, both our children are so, so good. Okay. So are you willing to step out of the story that you will always be not, not as good as your brother? Yes. <laughs> How's that feel? So much better. So much better. Thank you, Shiraz. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.